Hello Crossroads, today is Palm Sunday, April 5th, 2020. Today is the first day of Easter in a box, where we are focusing on the Palm Sunday through Easter Sunday week uh, and events that led up to, first of all, the cruci crucifixion of Christ and then to his resurrection on Easter Sunday. So we're going to have a great week. Thank you so much for participating in Easter in a Box. The plan is this, today through Easter Sunday, there is going to be a daily devotional video. And you will find that video on our website or on Facebook. And the devotional video will be posted in the morning and you, it can be viewed any time during the day. You can view it by yourself. You can view it with your family if there's family around. And once it's been posted, you can watch it anytime. You also hopefully have picked up a box that says Easter in a box. And in the box, there are some basic instructions. And then there is a dated plastic bag with an item or an activity that corresponds to the devotional of the day. An activity, there's coloring pages and things like that. I want to thank you for being a part of Easter in a Box. We want to have Easter as such a significant high day for the, the church, for, for Christians. And so we did not want to lose that opportunity in the midst of our circumstances right now with the coronavirus to be able to celebrate Easter. And this is a great way for us to do that. Please don't hesitate to comment, to like, to share on Facebook, to share the video, to share how it is ministering to you and helping you. So for the devotional today, today's Palm Sunday, and I would like to read to you from Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 through 12, the event as it took place as the Gospel of Matthew tells us. So let me read this to you. Now when Jesus and the disciples drew near to Jerusalem and came to Bethphage, to the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, you shall say, The Lord needs them, and he will send them at once. This took place to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet, saying, Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you humble and mounted on a donkey, on a foal, the foal of a beast of burden. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put on them their cloaks, and he sat on them. Most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the ground. And the, and the crowds that went before him and that followed him were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he had entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred up saying, Who is this? And the crowd said, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee. And Jesus entered the temple of God. So there's Palm Sunday. It was four days before Passover, Palm Sunday is. The crowds were packing into Jerusalem to celebrate the holy day, the highest holy day in Judaism, celebrating what took place on that day before the death angel came into Egypt and the people were set free and went eventually into the promised land. For hundreds of years, as the people came into Jerusalem, they were looking and awaiting for a Messiah. They expected this Messiah to be a, a military leader versus a religious leader. Certainly would have religious overtones to it, but my, mainly a military leader, political leader to overthrow those who held Israel captive. That's what the people expected. On this particular Palm Sunday, they thought the day had finally arrived. Jesus comes into town. They say, who is this guy? 
Oh, it's the prophet. It's the guy that's been doing miracles. It's the guy who's raised people from the dead. This guy's incredible. This is him. This is the event. So as the people began and realized that Jesus was there, and they gathered around him and spread their coats out in front of him and the branches, all of the things that we associate with Palm Sunday, they were saying, this is the Messiah. This is a military leader we have been hoping for. So Jesus comes in, and that's what they expected. Well, when Jesus came in and they were celebrating him, something happened that changed their mind, and it changed it so much that five days later, he was crucified. Have you ever wondered how in the world do you get from saying Hosanna to in the highest to somebody to saying crucify him and within the course of about 100 hours? How in the world could that happen? Let me explain what took place. Jesus came in. They spread their coats. They cheered. It's the Messiah. They were expecting Jesus on the donkey to head up to the Roman consulate, to go to the place where the Romans, who were the ruling, was, was a ruling country over Israel at that time, to, for Jesus to go there and to stand on the, the steps of that consulate and say, okay, Roman people, okay, Roman leaders, your day is up. The Messiah is now here. That's me. And, and we're done with your rulership. So just pack up and go home, okay? That's what they wanted to happen. They wanted Jesus to do that. So Jesus comes in and he's heading into, into Jerusalem. They're all excited. But then, and I don't know all of the roads and all the streets that existed in Jerusalem at that time. You can look on a map and see this. Uh, of the ancient days and see this. But Jesus, instead of heading to the Roman consulate, he went to the temple. Can you imagine what that was like? Here, here the people were saying, hey, spread your cokes out and head toward the, the consulate. And Jesus kind of, kind of broke through the crowd and headed up another road a road that went to the temple, to where God was worshiped. Tomorrow we're going to look at what Jesus did in the temple in our devotional. But on that day, when they saw him head to the temple, when they saw him refuse to do what they expected him to do by calling out the Romans and saying, you need to leave, we're taking care of ourselves now. The people sat back and go, wow, we thought this was the Messiah. As far as a devotional application here for us today, it is very easy for us to place certain expectations upon Jesus in our own lives, in our own culture. You know, Jesus is the guy that that makes you feel good. Jesus is a guy that um, heals people. Jesus is the guy that um, blesses. And conversely, Jesus is the guy that you blame him and God, you blame if something goes wrong, if something falls apart, then it's his fault. Can I suggest to you today that Jesus, in coming in to Jerusalem, calls for us to respond to him today? He says, what are your expectations of me? Are you listening to me? Are you following me? Are you going to follow me? 
Will you follow me or will you tell me where I have to go in order for you to be happy with me? That's what Jesus wants to know of us today. In each of the devotional days we have on Monday through Friday, we are going to be asking ourselves some of the questions that Jesus asks. Questions that he asks his disciples. And so today, Palm Sunday celebration, we are looking to Jesus, who is not some militaristic leader, some political leader, but who is our Savior and our Lord. Is that how you are looking at him today? As your Savior, as your Lord. Now, this is going to be an outstanding week together. I know we're not together together as far as physically close to one another, but this is a great week for us to take a look at who Jesus is and to observe his activities that led him from Palm Sunday to the cross and then to his resurrection on Easter Sunday. God bless you, Crossroads. It's going to be a great week.